Oftentimes, during research, ecologists need to track the position of animals within their habitat. One of the most prevalent animal tracking methods is radio telemetry, which depends on tagging animals with radio transmitting devices and then traversing the open habitat with large radio antennas like the one pictured here, following the signal from the animal's tags. However, manually searching is both time consuming physically exhausting and impossible in situations where measurements are needed in frequent intervals over long periods of time or in inaccessible habitats such as sharp rocky cliff areas. This summer, E4E's radio telemetry tracking project collaborated with Dr. Matthew Gifford from the University of Central Arkansas to develop a new system that can collect location data of common collar lizards. This new system will collect position data every 10 minutes during daylight hours with a margin of error under 1 meter for the course of two weeks within a predefined area of rocky open habitat. Our previous system for tracking tagged animals in the field was a drone based system. But due to the need to monitor the lizards every 10 minutes, a drone cannot be used as it would quickly run out of battery and would require lots of maintenance. In order to mitigate these issues, our existing system had to be modified. Our new system will use multiple antenna towers instead of a single drone. These will be able to run and collect results autonomously so they don't require a pilot. Our tower systems will have a sleep timer to automate turning the towers on and off at the intervals at which data is needed to be recorded. In this video, we will outline the major areas of development for this tower system from the summer. In the previous drone system, the drone software ran on an onboard computer OBC, and acted as a server, with the ground control station GCS, connecting and receiving data as a client. This was problematic because for our new tower system, we want multiple towers with their own onboard computer. If they are the server, this complicates having multiple towers. So in order to implement the multiple tower system, we transitioned to a flipped TCP model. The GCS would change to the server, and the towers acted as clients. Additionally, the existing ground control station expected one singular connection, so it needed to be updated to manage data from multiple connections. This was accomplished through the implementation of additional threads. The underlying logic also had to be expanded to utilize multiple connected data sources to display results on the user interface and allow the user to set settings for each individual connection. The next major development for our new tower system was the implementation and integration of a sleep timer. The creation of a sleep timer was necessary as we needed to conserve power since our tower system is expected to record oftenly for a long period of time. By turning off the OBC, we are able to stop data collection but also limit the amount of power our tower system uses. The main action of our sleep timer is to turn on and off the OBC when specified. In order to achieve this, we utilize an STM32 based development board and created software that can communicate with the OBC over a serial port. The sleep timer is able to interpret wake up alarm messages sent by the OBC and turns on and off the OBC via a GPIO pin that controls the switch. The next major development was the physical design and later redesign of the tower system. The initial concept of the tower system centered around a 10 foot tall steel mast. The mast would be supported at the base by an off-the-shelf tripod and stabilized at the top by three guy wires. Guy wires keep the mast stable by placing the mast in the center of three opposing forces. However, the guy wires must all be in tension for them to properly exert force on the mast. This became an issue when we realized that it would be extremely difficult to anchor the guy wires into bedrock without causing permanent changes to the ground. To solve this issue, we redesigned the tower system and switched to a tree mounted design. This design will work in the area of interest for this deployment since the habitats of interest are all surrounded by trees. The tree mount consists of seven sections of PVC pipe connected by PVC angles. The antenna then sits within the PVC pipe protecting the antenna. The entire assembly is strapped onto the tree with ratchet straps allowing for a simple and easily removable system.